Oh, we're straight in with an intro. This is... Oh, uh, you've forgotten. The name... Westwood Studios. Some, ah, there you go. Westwood Shadows Prologue. A uh, horror... Well, yeah, it's a horror game. First person horror game shooter puzzle adventure where you're a detective going back to your hometown. And we're going to try and solve a case that's open? I think that's what it said in the description. Uh, let's check it out. Westwood Police, is anybody here? Oh, we do get to play good. Uh, move, run. Okay, great. We're going to have to run for someone. Left click is interact. Tab is inventory and J is general. I will try and remember all of that. Um, that's pretty basic stuff. Wait. Next. Hey, come on. Flashlight. F for flashlight. And V for UV light. Why? Your flashlight requires a battery. The light will flicker when the battery is low. It also comes equipped with a UV function. Use it to find hidden messages and story clues. UV light will drain your battery faster. Oh, well, that's typical. What's 503 that? to dispatch. I think there's somebody in the house. Stand by. Well, it's not really a surprise. We have we have no reflection. We're a vampire or a ghost. Okay, I can't go in there. What's this? Save coin. Oh, save coins. Game can be saved on payphones using save coins. Each save can be loaded from the game menu screen. Cool. Um, oh, how do I do the UV thing? There you go. Any clues? There's got to be one on the mirror, right? <gasps> you can see a floating flashlight. No, then. Payphone. Oh, and a family. Hello. I've seen this photo somewhere before. Although it's quite generic, so maybe I haven't. Um, we go through here. This isn't even going to be scary. I can tell already. Fridge. Okay, so there's some tomatoes. So they aren't rancid. So that must mean someone's been here recently. Why can I only open like a drawer in a cupboard? Can I get that med pick, um, pack, please? I feel like I'll need it. Can I not close this drawer? Gimme! I'm interacting. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, and a cupboard. Seriously, I can only open those. Let's take this knife. No, fine. Well, also, that apple looks fresh, so someone's gonna make a snack, and... Now, for whatever reason, they're not. A chair's got knocked over. Uh, don't forget to post this. The last thing we need is my parents around this mess. Press space to power to toggle text. Oh. Use moving keys to rotate the object. Okay. Can I... Can I open the letter? I guess it's not polite to. I'm gonna turn my flashlight off because I don't want to drain the battery. Hey, a key. Garage key. Okay. Hey, give it. Can I close you? Seriously, if I came downstairs at night, alright, and a bunch of drawers and cupboards are open, I would either think there's a ghost or an intruder. Um, I probably think it was a ghost. What's that? UV. It's a UV paint bucket. Oh. <sighs> Two. So, there's a code. There's gonna be a code somewhere. Why is there mannequins and everything? Shush. What's that TV channel? What are you hiding, Fosters? Yeah. Fosters, what are you hiding? Codes? Codes? Oh, the th we know the third one's two, so it's, uh, seven, four, two, nine. Okay, eight, six, two, three. Okay, we gotta stop guessing shit. Is that the garage? A key with a wheel keychain. It might unlock a worship or garage. Use. Well, it's a good thing Dispatch. I guessed. Car's missing. 
I'll keep looking. Hey, look, it's another big place. Another safe code thing. Is it on the side of it? What's that? This is just a screwdriver. Anything in you? Nope. Hey, what are you? A Mars statue. You your keys are rotated. Why? If there is something I'm meant to see, it's super subtle. Anyway, I'm gonna pick it up. I got a statue, which we're you now carrying around in our pockets. Why? Same chair without the guitar. Okay, can I pick up the guitar and put it on there? What if I put the statue? Oh, okay, well, it lets you put it there, but like, doesn't do anything. Ooh, wow, long, long reads. Tragedy strikes Westwood, two dead in car accident. A wife and son of Peter Bennett Westwood police detective were killed in a car crash in Old Westwood yesterday afternoon. Sophie Bennett, 32, and Alan Bennett, 7, passed away after their Ford Escort tr was struck head-on and caught on fire. Without anyone around to witness the car crash, Westwood police believe the accident took place at 1650. Both Sophie and Alan's buried bodies were transported, there's a space missing, to the coroner's office, where Detective Bennett reportedly grief-stricken and barely responsive identified them by Sophie's earrings and one of Alan's toys. In today's official statement, following the coroner's report, Westwood police had, had, police had this to say. Sophie and little Alan were loved by the community and this tragedy has shaken us all. Our department only asks that our colleague, Detective Bennett, be given the space and time he needs to grieve and process his loss. Although sources point to a fault in the 18-year-old car's gas tank, the crash and its cause remain under investigation. In the meantime, Mayor Harry Birch has committed to patching up Westwood's dangerously under-maintained roads. Sophie and Alan's funeral will take place at the Westwood Family Cemetery this Sunday, September 6th. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah, because it's a bit weird, because this random people have... have um, that. Nathan yeah. and Jane Foster. Where are you? Nathan and Joko. Um. Are we? Oh, 0904, 1975. So that's a date. 1975. Sure. What if that goes? Is that the safe? Is that the safe code? Ah! What was that? Is that the fridge? Oh my god! I got scared by the fridge. Where's the? Let's try it. Huh. Was it? Nathan and Jane Foster. Yeah. Where are you? Okay. Fine. It's over here. I do like how it's obvious what you have to... Uh... Nathan and Jane Foster. Oh, what is wrong with my brain? Why does it just keep are you? not knowing how to say words? I like how it's so obvious what you can interact with because it's got the little arrow on it. That's a nice touch. Batteries. Pick it up. Oh, yay. Because, you know, our thing will run out. Hey, a musical note. But... I don't know what that note is and I... I hope I don't have to play the piano, because I have no talent. This is a big house. Okay, that's locked. Why is it so dark? Oh, okay, I gotta put this guy. Oh, wait, no, there's another one over there. So let's hold on to you, because I don't want you going missing. There's definitely a secret passage here, right? Why is there so many newspapers? Were they a detective? And there's a magnifying glass, right? So, oh, and a pipe. They're a detective. Oh, there's, there's three of the, of the plinths. So we need to find like, 
two other statues. Does this even go anywhere? I find it weird, a stairs going up. But there's no doors to go somewhere. A clock's minute hand. Cool. Thank you. Um, oh, there's a clock there. But that has its minute hand. Have we even seen another clock? Hey, guitar. Oh, we'll just go put that on the other chair. That's what we'll do. Let's go! Okay, guitar. There we go. Oh, I didn't even see the painting. I didn't even see that that painting had something under it. Five, two, eight, four. Okay. Is that for the safe? Uh oh. Ooh. Hey. Small bronze key. But where does that take me? Uh, is there any... Ooh. Looks like someone took cl clock hands. So we got the minute hand. Oh, we need the hour hand. Now. Um. We're looking for numbers. With the UV thing. We're not finding any. Can I not use the key? Use. Can I use that here? Okay. Uh... Any clues? Nada. What about in here? Can I use the key there? No. This it has the little cog, if you can use it. What's in here? Nothing. It's UV spray. Oh, so there must be one there must be one here. There's gotta be. Butterfly. Butterfly is not a number. Butterfly. Butterfly. Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Um It's gotta be a clue, but I don't I don't What's a butterfly but not a number? I okay. Hey look another save coin, thank you. I haven't saved yet. Looks like the fire was still on until recently. Yep. What's in here? Okay, some hangers, a mannequin. Another painting. No, not a painting, a photograph. And another fire. Okay, yeah, you said that dialogue for that. Can I get you? No. Okay, my flashlight's flashing. That means we're gonna run out. UV spray. Nine. So nine. The second is nine, then it's two, and then it's butterfly. But I don't know what butterfly is. What's this? That is a candle holder? I don't know. Um. Hmm. Oh, this is a bedroom. On the ground floor? And have we missed anything? I don't think so. No butterflies. We go this way. Oh, there's a stairs. Hey, look, a lady. Um, UV paint there. Five. So it's five, nine, two. Five, nine, two, something. Let's go back and just try all the numbers on Earth. Could a butterfly be? Butterfly. It doesn't even sound like a number. Okay. Five, nine, two, one. Five, nine, two, two. Okay. Are you serious? Ha! Five, nine, two, seven. I didn't even have to find the butterfly. And my battery's gonna run out, so let's use one of these. There you go. Um, what's in here, people? Oh, we want, we want the UV on, because... Give you clues. Oh, it's a statue. Thanks. Close this damn door. Now, this is at least like a safe spot for me. Got that battery. And the save coin. And we're gonna save it now because we did something cool. Um, where's the phone? Okay. Uh, let's keep going. So we need to find a 
Hey, there's letters. Oh, the music sheets. We need to find one more statue. Is it one more? And we gotta... We gotta find a hand for a clock. So I'm guessing there's only... a. Hey, this has been boarded up. There's only clues on walls with the UV. If you find like a UV spray paint or something. Hey, and there's a statue. And a battery. Are they expecting me to be using so much more battery power? Aphrodite statue. Uh, so we got it. We got that statue. We can, we can go to the library. Oh, that statue is pointing that way. So maybe I have to have it pointing. Aphrodite should be pretty good. So low. Shouldn't it be displays? Yes. But I think you are facing the wrong way. Wait, this one. Statue. No, you're facing the wrong way too. I think. Does it matter? There we go. We did it. There probably was some clue which I didn't pick up on, um, but I just changed the the uh, the order. Okay, so we're in the secret room. I knew there would be one here. A save coin. Cool. And, uh, there's a pen and a paper, some music sheets, a drawer, a golden key. We have a brass key too. Oh, maybe the brass key is for the for like a winding a clock. Can I please open this? There's a basement. Don't forget, new badges. Let it left it in the basement. I'm not waking up to swipe you in again, Jane. Yeah, it was a basement. <gasps> Look. Security feed. But where's, where's the, room? the room? Yeah, so it's gotta be the basement. It's got a terrible picture on it. Jeez. Invest in some better screens, my friend. You have a huge house. So can I can I use one of the keys for this? Can I use that here? Oh we can! I didn't think we could. And a save coin, Jesus. I mean, it's good that they're giving you a few because you want to be able to save frequently, but I only used one. The Garden of Eden. Apollo stood still and gazed at the beauty of knowledge while Mars was planning his move under the protection of the whole world. Venus was relaxing, listening to old calming music. Little Cupid that kissed Venus behind her on idol as the gates of heaven were opening. Oh, that's the clue for the, for the statue combination. But, um, I figured it out. Well, not so much figured it out as just tried every combination, because there were only three um, different ways it could really be, and I did that. Um, so that means we can open this door over here with this key? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Oh! Oh, that lagged in. I thought something was happening. I thought someone was going to try and munch me. 850. Must be broken. Uh, we saw a time somewhere. 1650. Let's... 850. Can I... Can I... Must I can't do anything with it. Um, we don't have a clock key. Which I thought we had, but we didn't. It was a door key. If I had a clock key, we can wind it. A clock's hour hand. Oh, good! We needed that. Um, and that's it. Ah! Stupid fridge. Our hand. Use it. I just matched the other clock. That was kind of obvious. Oh, this takes me to the basement. Oh, should I save? Let's save, because I don't know where that takes me. I could die. There's a go. There it is. Oh. Found your basement. How about that? Now we're locked in. We have a radio, though, I think. Because we talked to her while we were in the house. We were like, dispatch 503. I think there's somebody in the house. She didn't respond, though. Oh. Well, that's not good, is it? It's locked. Oh, a rusty key. And use. A 
Try and not be so loud. We aren't meant to be here. Hey, my flashlight's flashing, but it hasn't run out of battery. Any clues? Oh. Hey! Why would they want this place watched? Yeah, I don't know why. Hey, hey, hey look, a carpet rolled up. There must be a body in it. I don't know. Maybe there's not. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. What's this? Barrels. Some kind of code. I don't like it. Hello? Okay, I'm opening too many doors here. Crash the past. Hello? Obstacles. Anybody down there? Don't do that. That scared me. We are going to get jumped on, aren't we? Oh, look, there's another code. Uh, I don't know the code for that. Well, that's locked. Brilliant. Um, did I have something to do with the barrels? I haven't seen any actual barrels. Oh, here they are. Hello? Oh. There's no one on it. It was just for saving purposes. What? Are these number of It's got something to do with that. Another battery. Um, it's got something to do with that picture. So there's a triangle, too. This is the code. So the thing that's kind of like an M is the first one. So which one's that? So this one. So it's nine. Oh, oh, I walked into a wall. Uh, nine, eight. Ah. Nine, eight, zero, seven. Nine, eight, zero, seven. Aha, yeah, I did it. I'm so smart. What's that? A boiler valve. That's, that, that, that's hard, kind of hard to say. Boiler valve. Is that an outside door? Well, our mission isn't really to escape, so... Doesn't need to be. I should turn my flashlight off. I don't need to have it on. Okay, there's no one there. I know that now. Hey, oh, so we need this valve to turn certain things. I can't get through that door. Turn that off. Um, C... Ooh, a battery. We must have quite a few batteries. What the heck is this? A, B, C, D. So zero, zero, zero. A, what? Some kind of binary system. This might help turning off the steam. Maybe. Maybe not, because I don't get it. Uh, right, so seven. That's seven. Maybe it's got a clue. Uh, seven, zero. One, one, one. Wait, on, hang on, hang on. Zero, zero, one. So we need one of them on. So we need D on? So let's... let's use this the one. Oh, it worked! I was about to give up. This is like a secret office. Any hidden secrets? Say in there, make something day. Not forget. Oh, there is a code. 2305. And a save coin. Of course there is. 
And a key. A regular key. That's nice. This place creeps me out. The, uh, the shame that keeps shaming. The shame that keeps shaming. Following a wave of employee complaints, the Flower Hill Mental Institution is officially shut down until an investor steps in. Older residents will remember the controversial founding of the Flower Hill Asylum for the insane before the disastrous rebranding attempt a few years ago by the town's PR representative Harry Bunch. Although almost forgotten by the public, Mr. Birch's attempt to spruce up the town's image for investors bought a slew of fire hazards, dangerous materials, and even obsolete medical practices to light tarnishing our small town's image for decades. Getting paid on time is the least of it, but it's the last straw. We've asked the authorities to renovate, at least fix some issues. No one takes the matter seriously, says Vivian Blackwood, senior nurse, as the building's main entrance is being sealed. It's hell in there. Whether new investment sees this eyesore demolished or renovated is unclear. For now, all the institution's patients, patent, patents, I think that's meant to say patients, but it says patents will be shifted to other hospitals and the building be closed to the public. Definitely meant to say patients. Allegra? I do How batch. can these be new? Because people are still here, you idiot. What Captain, was that? I'm telling you, there's a connection between Allegra and this money trail. You're overanalyzing it, Peter. Just drop the conspiracy bullshit and do yourself a favor. What? Just focus on the things that matter. Wait, come on. Allegra Pharmaceuticals is into some dark shit and you know it. Dismiss Detective Bennett. Bennett, 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 Bennett. Oh, that was like a flashy back. Right, okay. I've actually run out of time. I've been playing this for quite a while. I didn't think it was going to last this long. I thought it was going to be pretty quick. But I'm going to... There is quite a bit more to detect. We're going to come back to it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did down in the comments. And let me know what you think is, gonna, is going on here. And hit the thumbs up button. Really, really helps. I really appreciate it. If you're not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can find out when I upload the next episode. See you in the next one. Bye.